King of all teachers, Chuck Fresh, with a review of Snap Circuits. Now, my kid played with this 18 years ago. Well, not that long ago, but uh, probably a good 15 years ago. And still, today, they still make these things. I mean, all right, it's made in China, but everything's made in China. The device you're probably watching this on is made in China. You can't get away with it. I tried to make something in America. We actually had a product. We tried to manufacture it here, but it would have cost us eight times as much. Eight times as much to manufacture it here, but... Anyway, uh, it's a great learning tool for electronics and actually light. And one of the key features of this is actually it comes with a printed book, the Snap Circuits Light Kit, and it gives you some it gives you really some terrific information. It's actually a course on electronics and in light. It tells you about the circuits that are in here, how you can combine them from other kits. If you have other Snap Circuits, they all work together. And this introduction to electricity is one of the best small short descriptions of electricity I've ever seen. I teach a course in electricity and this is great. And it talks about light. It really goes into the specifics of light where you could actually teach an entire course in a school on the information in this book. It tells you what not to do, how not to short circuit a circuit, and gives you some warnings about batteries, things could explode. Chances are they're not going to. It's very, very unlikely, but it still could happen. It's good they give you that information. And hundreds of projects that you can build with this kit and there's even more online and that's the beauty of this thing i mean you could really learn about circuits kind of the shortcoming is it it really doesn't tell you too much detail in terms of what each of the components of the circuit do but it does give you kind of a little brief overview because i think they would lose people i think they realize if you give somebody too much information especially a kid starting to learn this stuff you're going to drop them you know they're going to lose them so um, there's some really neat comprehensive projects. I decided to do the cover project, the one that's on the box itself. You hold the box, and it's one of the more complicated circuits in this book. It does a lot of things with sound and light and builds this really gnarly circuit. Now, this one's pretty tricky. If you go, this is probably the hardest one in the book because um, they really can't show it graphically in one diagram because it's multiple layers, things on top of each other. So it's kind of trial and error. As you see, I got all the parts here. I did it twice. I had to take it apart because I didn't have the layering correctly. And it's really neat because it snaps onto the board and it just sticks there. So you don't have to worry about it sliding all over the place. It's, they're like little buttons, like snap snaps you'd see on a jacket. That's why they call it snap circuits. And I sped this up a little bit. You don't want to watch me go through. So i got to match these things up. you got to make sure everything's in the right direction. So if there's arrows pointing or positive ends of the circuit, you have to make sure those are lined up according to the diagram in the book. And it is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, you're going to have to take things off a few times and put things back. You don't know what layer they're on. And there's uh, adjustments for everything, too. There's little one-pin buttons that you can put on top to elevate things so they all snap in neatly. You can't do anything diagonal. It's got to be flat. And you're building all of these individual circuits with resistors. They've got some capacitors in here and a bunch of LED lights, which is really cool. Now, the light kit, the, the light box here this this version of snap circuits is really cool because it's really attractive visually for children and they like to see they like to get their hands on it and make things happen they want to see these lights light up or a speaker make sound or a motor start up but i think this is one of the more powerful or one of the more really entertaining and engaging kits because of all the lights and all the really cool things you can do with this particular kit so i love this one as a starter kit if you're just getting into snap circuits and really, you could teach an entire class, again, on lights and electricity. If you got kids, all these things, and they all did the same thing, you actually enhanced the lesson, enhanced the diagram, and taught them what each of these circuits do. And look at this one. It's this thing you just fire it up. And if you make mistakes, you go back, figure it out, figure out what you got there, get this little kind of twirly thing. The other one didn't work. I had to pop that on there. I'm not sure what that does. And, uh, yeah, I missed a piece of the circuit the first time. So I had to go in and add another piece. Yep, look at that. I forgot that. So yeah, this is great. It teaches you like if parts of the circuit aren't there, it's not going to work. So this is what it does. It's got buttons. It's got switches. It's got a whole bunch of blinky lights on here. It's got a photo sensor. Put your finger over it. It actually adjusts the voltage to the LED light, which is really cool. I mean, so many different things, switches and all these other really cool things going on. And it even has a fiber optic cord. It's really hard to see in this light. But if you had a really dark room, you could see it do some really nice stuff maybe teach the principles of fiber optic communication. It actually controlled the uh, photo sensor and you could see it blink and synchronize according to the light came out. 
Also has some really neat stuff too in fiber optics too, where you can flip this guy on and it changes color. So you really got a really cool light show you're building here. And that's why this is so engaging and so attractive, especially for the younger kids. Uh, they recommend kids above five or six, I guess you could read the box. So I think my kid was doing this when he was about five. But keep an eye on them. There are some small parts in here and you don't want anything silly to happen. You don't want to swallow any buttons or anything. But yeah, snap circuits, what an incredible STEM idea a terrific holiday gift it'll keep them busy for hours as they go through building these things As a matter of fact this one you can actually plug in an mp3 mp3 player and it will it doesn't have bluetooth but it'll actually pick up the sounds and follow and chase the sounds really cool snap circuits lights one of my favorite stem projects ever